Hey guys, welcome back for more Tales of Celia. So today we're gonna go back to Hamil because Mila failed and she can't summon her spirits. So we're gonna go back to Fenmont. Come on. So, that woman is supposed to be Maxwell? And you claim she has lost her powers, Pressa? Yes. If she's already hidden the key somewhere, we could have a problem. The fault is mine. I underestimated them. I apologize. If I'd only known that woman was Maxwell, I would have forced her to reveal the key's whereabouts. No matter. It is in our best interest to let her wander freely for now. Yes. Let her attract the attention of Rashigal while we quietly put all the pieces in place. Any word from Agria? She says they appear to have decided to construct a new key to replace the one they lost. We cannot ignore that. Zhao, you no longer need to watch over the girl. Join the search for the key. But, sir... If the Rashigal soldiers have withdrawn, you need not monitor her personally. It only makes sense for priorities to change. The data is safe, after all. As you say. Pressa, rendezvous with Agria and infiltrate Fenmont. Oh, so it's truly safe to leave Maxwell alone? Yes. We still have another pawn on the board. I'll have him search for the key as well. Hmm. Homie said another pawn. Hmm. What is it? I was mulling over our options. What if we can't take a boat straight to Fenmont? Well... I vote against taking the land route from Aljul. Crossing the mountains would be a real pain. Alvin? Alvin? We could head toward Sherilton from Sapstrath Seahaven. We? What do you mean, we? That handmaid of yours offered me a little job. He wasn't so crazy about his exalted spirit traveling with a pipsqueak for a protector. Plus, the good village folk overpaid me. It'd be a stain on my professional pride if I didn't give them their money's worth. <laughs> Very well. Good to have you back. Yeah, thanks for coming along. Thank Ivor and the villagers, not me. So, what's the plan? First, we head to Hamil to investigate Rashigal's movements. If they're still there, that is. Then you better take this. Keep it handy, just in case. Shall we go? We shall go? A world map? Oh, we got fast travel now. Nice. Okay, let's go to Hamil. Storing mana skit. I don't get it. How could the four great spirits get captured? Fundamentally, the four are masses of mana. The Lance of Kresnik absorbs mana and apparently is able to store it. I never thought that was even possible. Apparently it is. We have to go rescue the four then. I do like the pluck, but this might be a case where a bit of pluck will get you a lot of dead. A pissed off med student's probably not a tall order for the group that bagged the four great spirits. <laughs> Get out of here! There's a little girl again. This is all your fault, you evil brat! Oh my god. Stop it! Sticks and stones can break bones, you know! What's the big idea? You okay? Do you have any idea what you people put us through? Is this Rashigal's doing? 
They couldn't find us, so they took it out on the village. Leave here at once! You outsiders are nothing but trouble! She was like a completely different person. Yeah, the mayor is trash now. What the hell is her problem? Let's see if the villagers know anything about Rashigal's activities. Don't forget, we'll be leaving soon. Gotcha. Thank you. Find the girl. Okay, let's follow her inside. Oh, she's in the basement? Hey, can we talk? Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Hi there. We've met once before, right? Hey! Oops! Clumsy little guy, aren't ya? This is Tipo. He won't hurt you. And this is Ellie, but you should call her Elise. Nice to meet ya! Uh, <laughs> uh, nice to meet you too, um, both of you. Sure, just thrown for a loop. My name's Jude. Well, hey, Jude! Thanks for helping us out before! Thank you. So what exactly happened? Can you tell me? Well, first, all these meanie men showed up from who knows where! Someplace far away! Then, the big man whooped them all! Oh, uh, yeah, that guy. But then he wandered away somewhere. Right! That's when the meanie men started bullying the villagers! Is the big guy a buddy of yours, Elise? No. He's a bad guy! He locked Ellie up! We arrived here together in Amnes. But they started chucking rocks at us the second we stepped outside! Those meanies! <sighs> Jude? Oh, sorry. Are the two of you waiting for friends here or something? Friends? We don't have any. Well, you do now. Huh? Oh. Well, hey! Jude is our pal! Hmm. Mind if I tell my friends about you, Elise? Why? I don't like the way the villagers here treat you. I want to ask my friends if there's anything we can do. Sure, why not? Jude's our pal. We can trust him. Right, Ellie? Thanks, Elise. You just wait right here. Oh, you want to come with? Okay, she's going to come with us. I mean, she's a sweet girl. And they're throwing rocks at her. What is wrong with you, you animals? Hey, there you are. Oh, it's the doll girl. We're finished here. We didn't learn anything useful. It's time to go. Wait, we need to talk. It's about the girl. Well, the villagers do seem to treat her like a pariah. Until that big fellow Zhao returns, I don't see her situation improving. But Elise insists Zhao isn't her friend. 
He locks her up when he's around, and the villagers treat her horribly when he's away. Sounds like she's stuck between a jerk and a hard place. Unless we bring her with us. Bring her with us? And then what? Have you given this any thought? You do remember my mission. Yeah. <sighs> Very well. She can come. Really? Jude, do you remember what I told you at the falls? Huh? Be yourself and do what you have to do. That's what I said to you. Yeah, I remember. Those words still apply. Can I assume your decision to bring the girl is just another step in your path? That it will help you find the answer you seek? Y yes Then tell Elise she's coming. You got it. That was nice of you. She won't affect my mission. If she slows me down or gets herself in trouble, I'll just leave her behind. My intent from the beginning was to do this alone after all. Okay, skip Alvin's secret. Where do you go after you left the shrine in Niakara? That's a secret for grown-ups. It sounds like you're trying to hide something. Figured that out, did you? Do you want to ask what I was doing? If you don't want to tell me, that's fine. If it's fine with you, then I ain't telling. You don't want to tell me? You don't want to ask? I'm starting to think I'd rather not know. I'm starting to think you're probably right. She's even saying goodbye. What is wrong with those people? See, now they're looking when she turns her back. Okay, Ivar's Judy's. Oh boy, that handmaid of yours is a piece of work. I don't value his temper, but he is quite skilled. He said he's been serving you for years. Yes. He cleans up the shrine, he runs errands, always with a lot of enthusiasm. He buys my clothes and arranges them into outfits. What? Wow. Your handmaid has exquisite taste. Yes. The clothes are very comfortable. I quite like them. Okay, an awkward introduction. Oh, I guess I haven't properly introduced Elise yet. I'm Elise Ludis. Hello. Well, you look like you'll be a fine lady when you grow up. I'm Alvin. It's nice to meet you. I, um, well... Don't talk to strangers, Elise! Strangers are bad. Why is this stuffed animal talking? Huh? Tipo always talks. Naturally! Oh, so I'm the one who's reacting strangely? Sure looks that way! <laughs> I'm arguing with the stuffed animal. How unusual. Unusual, she says. Coming from you, Mila? Okay, let's get the chest there. Demon face! Take this! Take this! All right! Demon face! All right! Over already? I think we need to farm levels, right? We're still level six. If we must, demon fish. Tiger blade. Demon fish. Demon fish. Man, are we good or what? Um, 
Yeah. Ouch, the cold shoulder. Okay, let's teleport to Aladi Sea Haven. There's a quest there. Quest there as well. Here, how about here? Nothing. I want this one. Okay. We'll probably use that when we can guess if there's a boss incoming, right? Okay, do you know anything about oranges? I've heard they grow around here. If you find a nice one, I'd like to buy it from you. Oh no, do we, do we have one though? We don't have a porridge. Where can we get that? The head chef said I need to learn how to make soda rice. Unfortunately, I don't have the first clue how to go about it. Could you help me? Except soda rice, I don't have it. More monsters have taken up residence at the lake west of the Sea Haven. I asked a local merc to take care of them, but I'm afraid the monsters got to her. Could you go to the lake and rescue her, please? Uh, Garrett's rescue the merc. So we don't have a porridge. We don't have a soda rice. So we're screwed. At least we can teleport back now. That's pretty easy. Yeah, the side quests are good, cause... We get gold. No breaks. Over already? How does it mostly like the battles? Because of the materials they drop. Like this one, look. Beautiful feathers. Spiderweb. This no one breaks. is mine. Hmm. Should have gone a little easier. The wild grass speeds and we got life bottle. You're starting to look pretty good with that blade. Hmm. That's good. I do seem to possess an aptitude for sword fighting. She's dead. They kill her. Here we go. Demon fist. Ready? Got it. Demonic chaos. Shimmer spin. Dude. Fall. Man, are we good or what? Um, yeah. Ouch, the cold shoulder. Thanks. A little longer and I've been dinner. You guys look like you know how to fight. Just don't let your guard down like I did. Okay, let's go back. A lot of sea haven.
You rescued her. Thank you. Okay, I got sheeted dagger and 1,200 gold. Excuse me. When is the next ship leaving for Fenmont? I'm afraid the Rashigal government has blockaded the capital and its surrounding regions. That means all scheduled voyages to Fenmont have been cancelled. We apologize for the inconvenience. Are any ships sailing? Sorry, ma'am. Ah, uh, but the route to Sapstrath Seahaven is still open. Would you like a ticket to Sapstrath Seahaven? Okay. Very well. Please board the ship and await departure. See, Alvin is very suspicious, man. That's not something you see every day. You get your mail by carrier pigeon? Something like that. It's how I keep in touch with someone special from afar. I told her a beautiful woman has appeared in my life. Hey, I didn't know you were married. <laughs> Do I look like the marrying type to you, Mr. Honor Student? Huh? You mean you're not? Who knows? Oh, looks like we're about to depart. Yeah. Wow. I've never seen the sea before. Impressive, huh? Just what was that girl doing in the village? Wasn't she being held captive? Maybe it was the other way around. Maybe she was being protected. <laughs> Elise? <laughs> Tipo, look! Well, hey! Check out that water! You'd die if you fell in. She's not a bad girl. It doesn't seem that way. I wonder if we'll find someone who'll take her in. That's your responsibility. You'll have to find someone on your own. Right. I guess she really is mad. Hmm. Isn't she always like that? To be honest, I thought for sure she was gonna shoot down your idea to bring the girl along. Why? She's just so single-minded. I bet she'd kick a puppy if it got in the way of her mission. Come on. Mila isn't that cold-blooded. I wonder. Speaking of her mission, I hear you two had a rough time at that lab in Fenmont. Did Mila tell you about it? Well, she must have swiped something big from there, huh, kid? Some juicy national secret that got the army all riled up? I don't know. You'd have to ask her. Don't play coy, kid. I'll find out eventually. Why not just tell me now? It'll be our little secret. I'm sorry. I really don't know. Well, I guess she really doesn't trust us. No, that's not true. Wait here. I'll go ask her. No, no. If you really don't know about it, then forget I asked. I mean that. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. But... I doubt she'll take kindly to me poking my nose in her business. So don't tell her I asked, okay? All right. Got it. Hey, we better get our stuff. You're right. Looks like we're almost there. I wonder how tight Rashigal security is right now. Mila! Mila's our pal! Oh. <laughs> Looks like everyone's getting along, at least. Don't worry. Everything will work out. Okay, we're here. Looks like security looks is same. not so tight after all. Soldiers are still patrolling, though. We'll have to be careful. Strange. What changed? They were deploying soldiers across the border to find us before. 
Maybe they found something more important to do than chase after us. I'm not complaining. Let's avoid the soldiers and head to Fenmont. Hang in there, Elise. It'll just be a little while longer till we reach the city. Then I'm sure we'll find the perfect person to take you in. What? Hey, why but are we gonna I... load her? Take us in? What the hey are you talking about? That could have yeah. gone better. He just told the little lady he's unloading her on a perfect stranger. That's news to her. No wonder she looks surprised. And he thinks I'm inconsiderate. He's just a kid. Hmm? Nothing. Okay, do we have a quest? Okay, the softest beds in town, Skid. Trust me. The beds are way softer at the inn here than anywhere else. You focus on the strangest things. All right. I'm checking in. Can we really afford to relax like this? The suspicious sailor. Be careful, Elise. A sailor in the Sea Haven has been staring at you. Oh, I didn't notice anything. We might just be overthinking things, but he might know something. Maybe we should chat him up. Is this the guy? Hey, buddy. I know our little lady's cute and all, but could you stop leering at her? Oh, sorry. I just couldn't help but notice that stuffed doll she's got. You want a piece of Tipo, pal? Aha! I knew it! This one talks, too! You mean you've seen a talking doll like this before? Oh, yeah. They look just like that one. That might be Tipo's family! Where did you see it? A traveling merchant was selling them here a little while ago. He said he was heading west. That must be Sherilton. So there might be other Tipos besides Tipo? That is a possibility. I want to meet my family! Wow. These new toys are so impressive. Now I wish I'd bought one for my daughter. Hmm. More Tipos. Okay, quest again here. These deals will go fast. I have a request that I need to keep secret. Can I trust you? Except. You'll find nothing but the finest silk here. What do you want then? What? Stop Poison stinger. Okay, let's check the inn. Okay, let's sleep. He has a sub quest. Please, I'm in a hurry. Hmm? What is it? That woman. Quite a looker, eh? What do you think? Uh, this again? Found you, cat. Now come with us or else. <laughs> Never mind. Just cancel my reservation. <laughs> Alvin? I can't believe we fell for your pathetic lies. Please, I beg you, let me go. Please, you don't understand. Who are you working for? Tell us. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I think the lady's had enough. Mind your own business. You don't know what she's done. Hmm. Alvin, what's going on? Damn it. He's got friends. Let's get out of here. Cab, was it? That's an unusual name. Why did you help me? You don't know what they'll do to you. Well, 
how do I put this? He can't help it. Alvin's always had a weakness for pretty faces. <laughs> That's my Jude. Always kidding around. Now, how about you take her back to the inn and tend to her wounds? As you command, sir. She couldn't be one of them, could she? Oh, hey. Have you seen Kat today? She left before dawn. Hey, over here! What's going on? Oh, she's dead. This was no accident. Who would do such a thing? Kat! Did you know her? I'm sorry, but she's already gone. What happened? Was it those two men from yesterday? No, it wasn't them. Do you know who did this? Hey, could you give us a moment here? It won't take long. She never came out and said so, but I suspect Kat was a member of the Rats. The Rats? That's what they call the female spy organization that works for the Octau clan. They're one of the shadier tribes in Ajul. The Rats use women to gather intelligence. As their name implies, they sneak in anywhere, like rodents. They're pretty well known in Ajul. I can't believe it. I don't think those thugs from yesterday had caught on to her real identity. They must have been from the group she was spying on. They wouldn't have gone this far. Then who? Other rats. With her cover blown, she became a liability. I had a hunch that she might have been a spy, but... <sighs> this might be my fault. No, this isn't your fault. Are you guys done? Yeah, thanks for that. You okay? Yeah, these things happen. You just have to put it out of your mind. You can't save everyone, kid. Okay, subquest. Another one. I forgot to have this package shipped out. Hey, if you're all headed west, do you think you could deliver this for me? Sure. Any more? Let's expand the weapon shop. We need insect. Dual edge and bastard sword. Nice. Armor. Okay, so let's buy Okay, weapons Oh, we got new weapons Dual edge Bastard sword Plus 200. Nice. So what's keeping... Who knows? Sure talent, I guess. Greetings, friends. People call me the amazing bounty hunter. How would you folks like to help me with a little job? If you help me, I'll tell you why people call me the amazing bounty hunter. Yeah, sure. Your mission is to eliminate the monsters attacking travelers on the high road. My sources indicate they have a nest in the sap strat deep wood. Now go get them. Don't worry, if things turn hurry, hairy, my amazing self will be right there to help you. You ain't helping me, sir. So let's buy orange gel.
Dude, my my team I think is using. I bought some. What the? They used every uh, orange gel. What the hell is your problem? They used it all. I remember buying those when I what do you call this? When we left near Akira. And now it's two again. You there? Would you hear my story? Okay, sorry, we're kind of in a hurry. Some other time, all right? Come now, don't be like that. Linger a moment and bring an old man some joy. Uh, what kind of story? Yeah, you don't want to go there, Jude. Give this guy an inch and he'll take a mile. But don't worry, young man. I promise this story will be worth your time. Why? It might even save your life. Sounds interesting. Tell us your story. That's more like it. Now, hear my tale of monsters. Many years ago, a young man named Trill lived among Northern tribe. Trill had a talent for controlling monsters and an unusual gift that gave him an ability to draw out a monster's hidden powers. But Trill's genius was not easily sated and he began to dabble in the forbidden arts. By tampering with monster manalobes, he sought to create a monster that would grow stronger with every battle. Tampering with manalobes, but that's not... Possible? No. But Krill did it all the same. After over 20 years of research, he successfully created six new monsters. These creatures with their hyper-enlarged manalobes could cast new spirit arts out of pure instinct. Each of the six monsters had a weapon growing out of its body as if it, each was living incarnation of the weapon itself. These weapons were dubbed devil arms and monsters themselves, devil beasts. In all my years as a merc, I've never heard a story like that. Of course you haven't, young man. Twenty years ago, Trill, Trill took his six devil beasts and led them into a great war. But a huge tsunami hit the battlefield and washed everything away, including Trill. And thus the secret knowledge needed to create these monsters was lost. That's it? Thanks for wasting our time, old feller. Ah, but the story is not over yet, you see. The devil beast didn't die that day. Trill's death released them, and to this day they still roam free somewhere in the world. Ooh, so maybe that's the legendary or best weapons in the game. We have to find them. And you said this devil beast gets stronger with every fight? I did, and now they've been fighting for over 20 years. I can't imagine how strong they must have become. So listen well, if you see a monster with a weapon growing out of its body, do not attempt to fight it. That, my friends, is the moral of my little story and the secret to long life. Okay, he said, run away. If you see something like that, just run. Okay, they could make another. Looks like our wanted poster is making the rounds at the Sea Haven. Hmm. Does this sort of thing actually work? You tore it down? Yes, but I can't imagine a poster like this will give us any trouble. Do humans have a different sense of aesthetics than I do? Well, anyway, Mila tore down, so we should be safe here, right? That'll never work. Keep tearing them down, and they'll keep putting them right back up. Mila? It's nothing. Alvin's right. Even with this terrible likeness, we can't afford to take chances. We should move on. All right. Given enough time, they might manage to make a replacement key as well. We need to hurry. Hmm. Oh, no breaks. Right. Hit. Demon fist. Demon fist. Mm. Not, Not yet. yet. Hit. 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 Now's our chance. That's one. Roger. Final down. Dude, I am having trouble with this monsters. Imagine if he fought a boss now. Is fighting the only answer? Like, I need to level up a little bit. Maybe at least more than 10, like 12, probably. Watch out! 
Look at this. Mila is dying. Yet. Don't worry. I'm here with you. No. Demon fist! Demon fist! Not looking good. Not yet. Demon fist! Demon fist! Burn! Alvin attacked! What is wrong with you? Burn! Demon fist! Go! Roger! Final go! Nice job! Aerial fire! Burn! Who's that? Not bad. All right. Not bad. Okay, so let's get to the sap strat. Then let's teleport home. Or teleport back to what do you call this? The port, yes, yeah, so we can reset the inn. I don't have a health anymore again. A military checkpoint. I knew things were too easy. What do we do? What well, hey! What's over yonder? That's the deep wood. If we can hike our way through there, we'll come out right near Sheraton. Then our path is clear. It won't be easy going. What about Elise? You knew she'd face risks on this journey. <sighs> I'm fine. Really. I can go with you. Don't argue, you guys! You're pals, remember? Elise. The girl has agreed, so this matter is no longer open to debate. <sighs> yeah, we cannot go up there. There's a rock also here guarding this. What do you call it? The vines. So they're basically telling us go up here. Not telling us, forcing us. What? I got soda rice already? We can give it to the man, right? to know a lot about this area never actually been in the deep wood before but there's a first time for everything quite a dense forest let's try to stick together okay What was that? That's probably the boss. Was it warning us, maybe? Well, Mila certainly seems unfazed. Oh, I see a way through! Hurry up, you two! Great, even the spud is getting gutsy. Let's go. Yeah, let's explore this deep wood then when you find another save I'm point not so good with these tight passages must be this astonishing physique of mine getting in the way we'll end the episode there and i'll i need to farm levels first i'm not confident enough <sighs> that thing's got reach it can hit all of us with ease. This could pose a problem. It's, 
Elise, keep your distance. We can't look after you and fight at the same time. Stay back. Jude! Damn it. I... I can help. You... you healed us? <laughs> Glad you brought us along now, huh? Okay, we have a healer Elise now. Did Elise do this? Stay back, it's dangerous. But wait, hold on! I can help! Demon Fist! Pixie Circle! Shoot! Demon Fist! Hit! Ready to burn! Shoot! Hit! Shoot! Demon Fist! Demon Fist! A grand victory! That was amazing, Elise! That was exhausting! That wasn't too bad! So this is experience. Imagine, a little girl wielding arts like that. Elise, you saved us. <coughs> it's okay, Elise. There's nothing to be scared of anymore. That's not it. You two need to make up. Pals need to stick together. I promise I won't get in your way again. Honest. You heard the little lady. Now make nice with Jude here for Elise's sake. Make nice. It's not like I'm angry or anything. That's not how it looks to me. You were getting along better before. I'll do my best, okay? Why do I suddenly feel like the villain here? <laughs> Fine, all is forgiven. And hey, don't you have something to say to Elise? Sorry for making you worry. And thank you. This is some serious friendship stuff right here. Level 99 on the friendship meter. Elise's arts could really help us in a pinch. Don't you think so? Agreed. Thank you, Elise. I'm counting on you. Sally forth, pals! What luck. Never expected a channeler like her to be along for the ride. Okay, we got a new member. Oh, Poison Singer, we needed it, right? For the girl. Now. Here or here? Okay, let's check this out first. Silver ore. Okay, and we need to buy Elise equipment. Oh, they're here. The, the enemies, the sub quest. Wait, let me add her. Cerberus Strike? Okay. What's Earth Guard? Table shift. Okay, we got Earth Guard. Flash guard. Okay, Elise. Elise is the arts user, so... This one, TP. Momentary gain, solid guard.
Okay, we need this earth guard as well. My strategy. Okay, Elise and Alvin can use. Come on. No brace. Attack! Ha! Ha! Demon fist. Let's go, Roger. It's not working. I'll cover you. Demon fist! Hit! Don't worry! No! Demon fist! Oh, Mila is dead! Demon fist! Hit! Don't worry! Demon fist! Stop them in their track! Peace upon us! Demon fist! Stay away! Demon fist! Hit! Let's go! Roger! Final Do you really want to fight? Demon fist! Burn! Burn, okay, stop Come using orange can. shell on me. Hey. Yes. I say that worked out very well. Stop using orange shell. What the hell is your problem, Elvin? <laughs> do not use, do not use. I hope I made the right choice with my Lilium Orb. It's up to you to develop how you choose. Believe it. Uh, give me my arts again. Server Strike. Oh, we got Steel here. Down. I mean, he's wasting my skills, man. Like, why? Or skills items, I mean. Like, Jude has health. He's using the orange gel TP. Watch out! A demon fist! Now's our chance! Demon fist! Let's go! Roger! It's not working! Hit! Hit! Tiger blade! Don't worry! Right! Who's next? Demon fist! Demon fist! Demon fist! The likes of you will not stop me. I think we can squeeze through here. Better make sure none of us get our clothes stuck. Poison. Demon fist! I'll cover you. I can still do better. All right. Now my stomach seems to be empty again. When do we eat? Again with this one. <laughs> oh no. Are we gonna get poisoned? Everyone okay? Where... <coughs> Where is everybody? The smoke. <coughs> what is it? <coughs> oh, uh, my eyes. This ain't smoke. Some kind of spore, more likely. I bet these are smoke shroom spores. Once the spores get in your eyes or nose, <coughs> you can't stop crying. Doesn't bother me. What a bunch of crybabies. Okay, crowning glory. Look out, guys. There are little bugs everywhere. I wonder if Mila gets bitten a lot in that outfit. You didn't know. She swats the bugs away with her hair. Wow, like the tail of a cow! Don't compare my crowning glory to the tail of a cow. Crowning glory? I didn't expect such vanity from the Lord of Spirits. 
self-styled my hair for me. He said, you're in human form, so you need to take care of your appearance. You had the great spirit of wind style your hair? That's incredible! Yes, I'm quite fond of it. If I swing it around quickly, I can distract a foe between attacks. So you do swish it like a cow. So... Okay, let's go here. Mobble Curry? Okay, there's a treasure here. Bunny ears. Oh, He's waiting your for me. skirt is like a parachute. My legs are cold. Okay, let's check this area first. South region. What is this? A book? It's running away. Attack it. Here we go. Bakura. Ah, oh, what the hell is this? Fort. Not yet. Oh, dude, let's run away. What the hell is this? Damn. Dude, I am not gonna game over over that thing. Maybe it gives a lot of XP, but Jesus Christ, I nearly lost there. Verbana. Fossilized shell. Yeah, this is no proper place for a city boy like me. We can submit our sub quest uh, when we reach a save point. That's when we know that there's going to be a boss. The wolves, right? Remember the wolves looking at us? Hard code. No. They will probably need armor, better armor, weapon for Elise, and levels, some levels. Rotten bone. Okay, mysterious liquid again. bottle no, no 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 I need this one okay here's the save station So yeah, let's sub just submit our stuff. Can we just unlock it? Oh, no. I'll do my best. Attack! 
Let's go. Roger. Got him. That's one. Roger. Go, Tifa. Sharing is caring. Damn. I'm out. You should have left an arch alone. I'm here. I'm ready. The likes of you will not stop me. So this is a... I feel much... Okay. Let's give. Uh, what, what? What's the name? No, no, no. Where's the other one? The, the, the bounty hunter, right? This one. A poison singer. That's it. I finally have it. I can tell you what it's for. After all, if it got out that I needed it for a charm to get a boy to like me, then all the other girls who like him would steal my idea. He just told me. Silk here. I got hairpin? No money even? Oh, two th two thousand gold. Okay. You did great, rookies. I'm just sorry that you didn't get a chance to see me take a turn. But deal to deal. Here's why they call me the amazing bounty hunter. Because I'm from quaint, a little village called Amazing. My God, useless. It's strange how everyone I tell that has this exact same reaction. Wait a sec, now that I think about it, I swear I've seen you all somewhere before. Well, never mind, amazing men like myself pay no heed to minor details. Aviators. Okay, he gave us aviators. Do you have any more to be continued? I guess we can't do that. Head to Charlton. Orange soda rice. Okay. Package to the inn. Okay, guys. So we will end the episode here. So next time we will face the boss in the Deepwood Sap uh the Sapstruck Deepwood. And we'll continue more of the main story. So I'm gonna see you then. Bye bye.